This is the true story of what happens when you have crazy friends who want to see you do something crazy on seven people. Crazy! You have been warned. What's up everyone, it's Mark Anthony and it's Sunday on seven people. Um, the question or whatever it was called is um, what are three things you like to do before you die? And three things I like to do before I die are one, I would like to um, cure a disease, you know, biochemistry, and I really like to cure a disease. I want to cure maybe cancer, hepatitis C, you know, something. You know, I also like to be fluent in Japanese. I mean, fluent. When I say fluent. I mean, I don't want there to be any difference between a native Japanese speaker and me. I want to speak like fluent Japanese. And the third thing is, I want to write a book. I'm actually, just like Monica, I'm writing a book now. It's, um, hers I think is a series of short stories. Mine is just one long story. It's like, this is a long story. <laughs> but, um, now, back to why I'm dressed like this. Or lack thereof. I just got out of the pool, just got out of the pool, um, and basically, you know, this is my little, you know, I'm in the confessional room, so I can confess, like Usher, you know, these are my confessions, just when I thought I said I like it, say my check on the side, anyway, you know, I, I'm in the confessional booth, and I'm going to tell you guys how, you know, today's the last day, everyone's gone, just about, everyone's gone, everyone's left yet, but, you know, I'm still here. Mabry is still here, Monica, sorry, she was not like when I call her by her nickname, Mabry, it's Monica, I'm sorry, Monica. The reason why I have these shades on and, and, and my, my new, my newly filmed dreadlocks, y'all like them, y'all like my dreadlocks? Anyway, I have these dreadlocks on and, and the shades on because, you know, when, when, when the rest of the house came home, you know, I was running around the house naked and, and Dari was in the room, okay, she was painting a picture. She was painting an orange. She was painting a picture card called, called Mark Anthony in orange. I was being in orange. CBTV, Roberto, he didn't tell you guys the rest of the story. He didn't tell you guys that I was, you know, in or all in orange paint. He didn't say any of that. He just said, oh, I saw Mark Anthony walk around and butt naked. And I saw, um, Dari in the, in the bed and like she was asleep. It's because it was su a surprise. It was supposed to be a surprise for everyone in the house. But see, y'all messed the surprise up. Mm-hmm. You nasty. Anyway, one's leaving now, you know, and Quentin, oh, poor Quentin, Quentin is having, was having an emotional breakdown. He left a few hours ago, and, you know, we all have to be out of the house pretty soon, and I'm just doing this last quick little confessional here, you know, and Quentin, you know, he had an emotional breakdown. It was so sad. I felt so bad for him. And Barrett, nobody really knows who Barrett is. Barrett's just out being Barrett, I guess. I don't. I mean, the last time I seen him, he was in doing doing something in the kitchen with, with a screwdriver and and the slurping machine. I don't know what he was doing. I just I don't understand. And you know, Emily thinks she's real slick. She keeps turning the lights off and stuff. Emily, can you turn the light back on again? You know, Emily twisted up my hair and stuff. And, and I need my hair grease back. Hold on, I'll be right back. Let me get my hair grease from there. She thinks she's slick. Gonna steal my hair grease. This stuff cost me four ninety five plus tax too. And you know, the only people left here are me, Monica, and Dari. You know, we're just doing our last minute packing and stuff. And and BTV, he he was crazy. I mean, he took his raccoon. He okay. I gotta tell you guys the story. Because you guys probably will never hear the true story unless I tell it to you. You know, BTV, he took the raccoon that we buried. He, uh, he unburied it today before he left. He was said he wanted to take it home in a box and wrap it up for his grandma. I was like, what are you doing? When he unburied, when he unburied, when he um, exhumed, exhumed, the word of the day, children, is exhumed. When he exhumed, the raccoon, the coon, it was just all bones. I've never in my life seen a raccoon skull. I've seen one now. But BTV, he's going home. And, um, 
Oh, Dari, me and me, you, Dari, and Monica. You know, me and Monica, we've been having a blast. You know, as the only normal people in this house, we've been having a blast. I mean, we've been cooking our, you know, vegetarian foods. You know, we even have this new recipe for spinach, rice, soy chicken. Oh, snap.